It's that time of year again where the holidays are just around the corner and we're here to give you a few suggestions on what upgrades you might want depending on your Christmas cash. I mean budget. Yeah, budget. So your PC has been running a bit sluggish as of late and you've got a bit of cash to spend. But what part of the PC do you spend it on? Well, I guess it really all boils down to what your budget is. Here's a short list that we've compiled of what you should spend it on. If that wasn't clear from the intro. So first up, if you have like $25 to spend on upgrades, maybe just save that for a rainy day. But of course, if your system is desperately in need of some performance upgrades, definitely consider replacing some of the old stock fans in your case. Better airflow in the case can really help out with dissipating heat and give you better overall performance. Next, if we up the budget up to $50 to spend, consider upgrading your RAM. Now this will depend on how much RAM you have already in your system. Now if you're someone who already has 16 gigabytes, it's probably best to focus your upgrade cash on something else. But if you don't have a lot of RAM, you can pick up a four gigabyte kit of DDR3 for under $50. Next up is the $50 to $100 price range. My top suggestion for the category would be a solid state drive. We've said it in many videos before, but if you're new here, Here's why. SSDs use flash memory. So in a nutshell, an SSD doesn't have any moving parts, meaning it will be faster at writing and reading data. This is a great upgrade choice if your current system, whether it's a laptop or desktop, has a mechanical hard drive. You can find most SSDs in the 120 gig range for under 100 bucks. But if you already have an SSD, how about adding more storage? Right now, you can get one terabyte of hard drive space for under $100. And if you're like me, you can never have enough storage space. Kicking it up another notch to $150, I'd recommend a power supply. Something around 750 watts would have you prepared for any future upgrades. Having a modular power supply will result in less clutter and better airflow. Plus, if the PSU has an efficiency rating of 80 plus bronze or higher, that's always a nice plus. Let's say your budget is $200 and beyond. Now, you can really get anything you really want at that price point, but if you already don't have a decent graphics card, definitely consider one of those. Now, I'm a bit biased personally towards Team Green, but that's not to say Team Red doesn't have any good offerings, especially with their new announcement about FreeSync over HDMI albeit you will need a FreeSync compatible HDMI monitor, but a new graphics card definitely means you'll be getting better performance out of your games. That's always a plus. So that about wraps it up for upgrading on a budget. Now, in no way is this list a way of telling you what to do or upgrade first. It's just our way of letting you know what you might wanna spend a certain budget on. If you have any suggestions for what to upgrade at a certain price point, you can definitely share it with us by leaving a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We'll see you later.